everybody, I'm Anna, I'm one of the two mythical unicorns. Welcome to our channel, it's great to have you here. Today we're talking about something different. We're talking about writing, and specifically my writing, and why I write. So I've always loved books, always, as long as I can remember. There are pictures of me when I'm like three or four years old, just sitting and hugging a book. Uh, so books have always been really important because my parents read to me as a kid and my brother we we were in their bed and mom sat in the middle with a book and then we sat on either side and it was amazing we we read such great books and the last one we read together because it faded out eventually but we actually read uh, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince together I was like 14 or something and we just gathered in mom and dad's bed and just read this book together and Yeah, when mom was tired and didn't really feel like reading me or my brother had to take over and we read a part So books have always been really important and I love reading I still read and the moment I realized I loved writing was I was in third or fourth grade and we got this assignment we were supposed to write a story about when we were turned or became yeah, small as a mouse and we had to write a story about that and it was supposed to be one page and I wrote ten <laughs> and I was like yeah I like this I want to do this I want to do this all the time uh, so I did it <laughs> I still just wrote when I was assigned writing assignments in school and I loved it I, I wrote so much more than the others and the others were like oh damn we have to write something again oh no I don't know what to write and I'm like there are so many possibilities this is amazing I just wanna do this all the time so when I was 15 I went on writing camp it was like one week and we had a teacher who was a writer an author who had published several books and he told us about what to think about and how to do and guided us through a short story and I think that was the first story I, I, read, I wrote outside of school and I just loved it I still loved it <laughs> and I still didn't write on my spare time I began writing seriously, uh, seriously, it wasn't seriously, I wrote for fun, I wrote because I loved it and it was, I began after ninth grade, that's when I began writing real like long stories. Uh, when I was in high school I wrote my first trilogy, so, and then I just continued, and I just continued, and continued, and now I've written like nine different novels on they're all but one are romance and they're at least three four hundred pages long and I just love it <laughs> and my I have a problem with I think that I'm just gonna do a short story on this <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's a trilogy <laughs> so now I'm trying to scale down and challenge myself to write short stories books. I love them and I love to write them and storytelling is amazing. <laughs> so why do I write and why do I like it so much? Well, I just love the storytelling. I have so many stories up in my head that I just want to come out. So many characters that deserve a life, that deserve to make friends and to be known by the world, no matter how many in the world get to know them. If it's just for people that read them, they still get out there. That's why I do it for me. Also, when I feel bad or I have anxieties or something like that, writing just calms me down and everything feels better. <laughs> so that's another reason I write. And when I read, a lot of the time, I read something and that inspires me to something. So, but yeah, so I get inspired by uh, the plot and the characters and I think, oh, well, it would be very cool if this happened later in the book. Which of course it doesn't, because my we think 
in different ways. Our minds doesn't work in the same way. So that author has taken a whole other direction in their story and I'm like, okay, well, here I am with a plot and this single event that I think should be, it would be amazing, but it didn't happen. And I'm like, so then I want to give that scene or event or plot a life of its own in my own way. So that's another reason I write just the inspiration all around me. Yet another reason I write is I want to give something back to the community that has given me so, so much. I love books, I love reading, and they make me feel so great and alive and sometimes sad, but I can handle that most of the time. And just feels like it fills my life with colors. And I want to give something back to that society. I want to write something that inspires someone as much as I have been inspired by books and dive into worlds that you never known before and just yeah all the amazing things that you get to discover by reading books i want to give that to other people i recently sent one of my books or novels it's not a book because it hasn't been published so it's just a document <laughs> online uh, but i sent it to one of my friends and she read it and she was like this is amazing i'm your biggest fan oh my god when i do i get to read the sequel it, it sort of gets like a high <laughs> and the same when my boyfriend read my book and he was like oh this was very cool and i like this part and oh when this happened i wasn't prepared for that and you're like oh my god i did that and it sort of gets like a high and you sort of want to feel it again <laughs> so that is why i write and that is what i want with my writing and where where do i want to take it where do i want to go with it well i would love to publish my books and i'm not gonna stop until i do that they are gonna sometime in the future gonna become available to the public and to other people to read them when that happens i don't know but i am a very very stubborn person <laughs> so i'm not gonna let it go i'm not just gonna give up what you want so much attention today so much yeah i'm busy you can have attention later where was i I'm, I'm stubborn and I'm not gonna give up because that is not what I do and I've sent in no so I've sent in two different novels on two different occasions my first one that I ever wrote the first part of my first trilogy when I was 18 it was part of a school assignment we were supposed to do a project and I decided to try to get published so I did some work on my book, I did some research, and then I sent it into publishing companies. And I got all no's, because <laughs> uh, I'm not published. Um, but I was like, yeah, I am gonna get refusal, refusal letters. It's not gonna work the first time. I am gonna have to try and try and try and try again. And then, like half a year ago, six months ago, I sent in another book that I've been working on for like a year and I feel it's better but still all no's but still all refusal letters and that sucks <laughs> I'm not gonna stop trying I'm not gonna give up I'm just gonna continue and somehow somewhere <laughs> the line <laughs> yeah yeah now you move the camera are you pleased with yourself so I'm just gonna continue, I'm gonna do my thing, I'm not gonna give up because there are a lot of great authors out there that got a lot of refusal, refusal, I don't know why it's hard to say, refusal letters, and maybe I'm not good enough yet, maybe I need to get better, and I'm gonna get better because I'm not gonna stop, and I'm gonna get better, and one day you're gonna see my books in the bookshelves in the bookstore. That was it for this video. 
I hope you enjoyed it, even though I've been distracted by the cat a bit. And she might have moved the camera. I hope the angle is still okay. <laughs> Otherwise, it's the cat's fault, not mine. Um, so I hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, bye. Thank you.